phone. Who would have oh, thought? So stupid. Look, oh, 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 excuse oh, me. E.C. Bueller must be his uh, day off. <laughs> Now, if you check out this self-comprehensive sum deductible type huh? of policy, oh, you're completely oh, insured of oh. medical income for life. That is provided if you don't expire for the policy does. Now, would you mind going over that again? I don't quite understand well, about Well, certainly. This, uh, you see, it's really very simple. You it's called Herbalife. You once a month for 20 years. At the end of which time, you're completely covered for life. Now, isn't that simple? Well, it sounds reasonable. It's a deal. So, Knucklehead Smith makes a sale. Well, no. The proposition sounds interesting, but... Uh, it's you I don't like. I'll take it over for a few days. Uh, thanks for coming over. Well, I'll call in a couple days. All right. Thanks a lot. Sure. And stay away from my daughter. Huh. That's funny. Sort of hit him. I mean, wonder what I did wrong. Guess I shouldn't have spit on his rug. Hey. I'm sorry. What <laughs> seemed like a nice guy. At, At first. What talking about? Hey, it's Joe Lincoln. That every day someone loses a sale or an arm or creates a misunderstanding just because he does not speak intelligibly. Do you do 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 for the next few minutes, we're going to give you some examples of good and bad speech and show you the main faults of most speakers. We'll show you some things to do and some things not to do. No, you're over there now. The first now. thing that every speaker should do is to learn the three basic aims of public speaking. Lie, lie, and lie. And One, check your zipper. Oh. You must be heard. John heard? Two, you must be understood. Huh? What? Huh? What's Three, it? you must be pleasing. Do I please you? Do you find me pleasing? Now remember these three points. Huh. You must be heard, you must be understood, and you must be pleasing. Oh, and you must have a wire rack. Fall short in at least one of these three points. For instance. Yeah, well, the fact is, we spent many nights in the uh, uh, panties uh, jungle Oopsie. looking Sorry. for uh, headhunters. Uh, one night, just as the uh, uh, tap uh, pants sun uh, was going uh, down, uh, we heard a, a, a noise in the bushes. Uh, something was uh, uh, dance uh, belt. Uh, oh, no. uh -huh. uh, all of a sudden, it uh, uh, it attacked us. Yeah, yeah that's it. It, it, it attacked was, uh, us. Scattered uh, about. An ostrich. Now, uh, this ostrich. What a pathetic loser! Many of us clutter up our speech with uhs and errs. Yeah. And in this way, we create vocal static. Yeah. Uh, we can be heard, yes. Uh -huh. And we can be understood. Yes. yes. But we're dull and boring. Oh. Yep. Now, here's another typical example. This man's wearing a push-up bra. Now he's pleasing. Student government is something we've all worked for. Oh. Now that we have it, we must oh. make it work for us. We have all given our time and our ideas and our strength. Please possible. don't hit me, now please. Cherish it, nourish it, and make it live. Poor child. Most of her audience can't make out what she is saying. And what a wire so rat. So she's not heard, she's not understood, and she's not very pleasing. Now let's look <laughs> once more. Funny thing happened up there in the station. Yeah. See, I was sitting there waiting for the fellas. We were going well, I was under the bleachers at the ball game, and, and uh, that's when the cop chased me out and asked me what I was doing. Uh, me, pretty much. Your seat. I said, Mr. I said, this, <clears throat> this isn't your seat. You see, I've been sitting here a whole lot longer than you seem to think I have. I think that oh, you know, sit your seat He's got it all wrong. Uh, He's the dummy and the, and the ventriloquist. It's not hard to find fault Don't with worry. That We've had him put down. Many of his listeners won't be able to understand him. And those that do will wish you would admire dead. his sloppy speech. Do you know that I have little bunnies painted on my knees? Most of I the do. speakers we have heard can be traced to one thing. Tight under things. Practically all of us would be better speakers if it were not for this one big fault. If it carelessness? carelessness? Huh? Yes, carelessness oh, is at the root of most of the ills like. of poor speech. Huh. If this speaker would concentrate upon overcoming his speech fault of saying uh and er, he could be an interesting and effective speaker. Does carelessness make you this type of speaker? Think about it, won't you? Thank you. Now, this girl is marked by carelessness and the devil. Because she speeds over the words of her speech just to get them said. And she drops her voice at the end of sentences. So and she drops to the floor and rolls her eyes into the back of her head. Her. 
Is carelessness making you this type of speaker? Think about it, won't you? Thank you. Or is your carelessness the same as that of the man who runs his words together? Mumbles, drops his G's. Drops his pants and robs convenience stores. Have you found yourself yet? Do you know what your careless speech habits are? The important thing is to recognize the trouble and then take steps to correct it. And then crush it like a cockroach. can help you. First, Ooh, don't open beer bottles with your teeth. Practice opening the mouth wider than usual as he or she speaks. And fresh breath. In this please. way, the words can flow out and the audience can easily hear you. Speak with life and animation. Yet speak deliberately. Use plenty of lip and tongue action. <laughs> and you see it clearly, so you will be understood. And don't forget the wire Speaking rack. in low, full tones, so that what you say will be pleasing and appealing to the ear. And potent. Don't let your voice be high, shrill, and unpleasant just because you're a little excited. Keep it low and pleasing. I like it that way. Speak well, here's young variety. George Patton, a patriot and Change into high-grade weed. So that each sentence mm -hmm. doesn't sound just like the other. When David so Dukes is elected, they will take over the country. The manner of speaking must be pleasant and interesting. Do I please you? Let your voice and speaking manner reflect your own personality. Let it be sincere and typical of you, rather than stilted and stagey. For like me. <laughs> Ladies... I'm so glad to see you all here and see you looking so well. It's an Aunt B convention. Our subject this afternoon is flowers. Don't you just adore flowers? Mm -hmm. She is one hot mama. You see what I mean? Now, what she really meant to say was this. My life is a hot mama. I'm so glad that you've come out today, ladies. Glad to see you looking so well. The subject of our discussion is flowers, one of which I'm particularly fond. Poppies. I know that many of you, too, share my great enthusiasm for this subject. The idea is to be interesting. Interesting but real. Firm yet yielding now, to the are touch. There any Professor Bueller? Yes? Won't people think I'm peculiar if I start speaking differently than I ever have before? People think that already. Now, that's a good point. point. But I don't think you need worry about it. You see, your speaking voice will become more adequate like Brenda you practice the rules of good speaking. And your friends won't think that you're peculiar. On the other hand, they're more likely to admire you. For having the courage having to come out in public. your manner of speaking. Speak audibly, so you may be heard. John heard. Speak distinctly, so you may be understood. Oh. And speak with life and enthusiasm, so you may be pleasing. And get yourself a good wire rack. And remember that good speech will be a great asset to you always. It is the mark of a cultured person and a well-developed personality. And a good friend. Take pride in your voice and your speaking manner. Take pride in the way you sound. Put out some chips or something. Yeah, Didn't your mother teach voice. you anything? Be careful how you use it. But go on. Look, there's a hammer and a sickle in that eye. Beware. Hey, the cubby threat. Speech! 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 Woo! Speech! Woo! Speech! Lip and tongue action! Woo! Woo! Popper! <laughs>